Good afternoon. So we're going to learn to do one thing today, and that thing is called composition. And because we're only going to learn to do one thing, the lecture might be a little short, um, but composition is a two-day topic. So it's going to be, today we learn how to perform composition. Tomorrow we'll learn why we would want to perform composition. So, I'll call this a mechanical lecture because we're not learning why we want to do anything. We're just learning the mechanics of doing it. And the it in the question, composition, is when you have two functions, f and g, and you put one of the functions inside the other function. And this is called composition, and it may be best illustrated by your example. Let's say that f of x equals x squared g of x equals 2x minus 1. And we are going to take these functions and we are going to stick one of the functions inside the other. Let's stick G inside of F. And the key observation to doing composition is that composition works just like evaluating F at a number works. So if I wanted, say, F of two, I would go over to the right and everywhere that X appears, I'd replace it with two. Here I have F of G of X and it works exactly the same way. Everywhere that X appears, I replace it with G of X. So that instead of having two squared when it was F of two, we have G of X squared. Now that it's G of X. And now we know that G of X is two X minus one. So G of X squared is 2x minus 1 squared. And speaking mechanically, that's about all there is to composition. But let's do another few examples before we let you do some fast work. Let's let f of x be o x squared plus one and g of x and be x cubed minus x plus one. Let's take these functions and let's put them together. And again, the question you may be asking, which is why we will leave 
until tomorrow. Let's just make sure that we mechanically are able to perform these compositions. So this time I'm sticking F inside of G instead of sticking G inside of F, but the principle is going to be the same. I'm going to evaluate this just as if I had G of a number. I mean, if I had G of a number, like if I had G of zero, picking a number at random, but I go over here and all of those X's I'd replace with zero. I have G of F of X. So instead of replacing those X's with a number, I am replacing them with F of X. And now there's always a step at the end of composition where you ask yourself, okay, so what is this function? I've got f of x cubed minus f of x plus one, but what is f of x? Well, it's x squared plus one. So f of x cubed is x squared plus one cubed minus x squared plus one plus one. And I, unless I, uh, I might simplify this a little. I'm not going to mess with that cubic. But I do notice, so this negative sign distributes over the addition. It's easy to make little mistakes like that. But if I do that distribution, I have a negative one and a positive one. And negative one plus one is zero. And speaking of little mistakes, that was, I don't know if that was a copying error or if the whiteboard just didn't pick up my second stroke, but that's x squared plus one cubed minus x squared. So when students um, struggle with this topic, it's usually as a result of not writing in parentheses. Let's give, let's give a third example, dark green. H of X equals two X plus one, g of x equals x squared minus three. And I'll ask students to do this composition for me. And what I end up seeing a lot of, let me use a different color because this is wrong. Let's use pink. What I end up seeing a lot of is that. And the reason that this is wrong Okay, we have H of G of X. First 
put that in parentheses. Let's cross it out. Let's go back to dark green. H of G of X is two times G of X plus one. And in a situation like this, you have when you replace g of x with x squared minus three, there have to be parentheses. And the reason for that is that all of g of x is being multiplied by two. Here in the pink, we're only multiplying the x squared by two, but all of g of x is being multiplied by two, including this negative three. So if we put parentheses in, we will get something different from that error we had in pink. We'll get 2x squared minus 5. Sorry for doing that last step in my head, but I was running out of room. This 2 times this negative 3 gives us negative 6 plus 1 is where that five comes from. And that's composition. And I'm spreading this out intentionally because it's a very important topic. Also, last, uh, last period, I don't think anyone finished the in class.